Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we've got Gunslinger Kikiri Forest Suicidal. It's been a while since we've uh, played on Kikiri Forest. I guess I'll give you your, your Terraria update for the day, right off the, the start here. Switch over to Terraria. I made a, uh, an ocean farm, which is uh, getting me lots of pirate maps because I'm out of money. It also gets me a lot of money, so it kind of like solves both problems, but I want to get a stupid coin so I can turn this into a money farm, or rather turn another one over on the other side into a money farm. But like, it's so stupidly simple to make, you know? It's just a bunch of lizard bricks, a banner, some graves, and some conveyors, and then like, it spawns, the dragon runs over and goes doo 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 and then uh, everything gets pulled on over to me. And it's just beautiful. I love it. It's like the simplest farm I've ever made in Terraria, and it's probably the best farm I've ever made in Terraria, and it's 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 lovely. Get ready to um, I also I killed the uh, the pillars. I killed all four of those today. Didn't kill Moonlord. Moonlord killed me. You know, is is what it is. I didn't have. Uh, I wasn't really going for a Moonlord kill. You know, I was going for. Uh, I was going for a, uh, just the pillars. I just wanted to kill the pillars to get some other pillar gear so I could use that. And uh, I was expecting to die to the Moonlord. I brought my buffs, gave it the best shot that I could, and I, I wasn't able to, to succeed. It was my first time fighting Moonlord in years and my second time fighting Moonlord ever. So I've, uh, I've got a lot. <laughs> I've got a lot to learn on the Moonlord fight. I got a lot to learn on the Empress of Light far, um, uh, fight as well. I gotta, gotta fight that. I want to get uh, the Empress of Light drops a soaring insignia, which lets you fly forever, which is probably an upgrade to my Worm Scarf. Because if I can just fly forever, who needs defense when you can just not get hit, right? Am I, am I, am I right, boys? Am I right? Who need, who needs defense? Um, but I got, uh, yeah, I, I, I got the little ocean farm, so measuring it right now, I started the farm running at uh, 7.04 with, like, 23 pirate maps, or 24 pirate maps in my inventory, something like that, I have a picture of it, I just can't count it, because it's too small for me right now, I'll have to, like, go and look at it, you know, when I'm done, anyway, I started at 7.04, so, uh, in an hour, at 8.04, I will check and see how much loot I got, and then I can be like, this is how much you get in an hour. And it'll be fairly accurate, because it's a lot of, it's, it's very efficient. <laughs> it's very, very, very efficient. It's very fast, so. Um, it'll be, uh, it'll be cool to see. I've never actually gotten into, like, measuring my farms output in Terraria, you know? I do that in other games, I just I never did it in Terraria, you know, I never like measured how much am I actually getting and like worked on like making things efficient and stuff, but I'm kinda I'm kinda getting to that point now in the in the old Terraria world where it's mostly about making things more efficient. I also want to go over give it a beautification sort of pass over. Fix up a lot of the giant holes. I got a couple of more giant holes to dig as well. I wanna get a, a Plantera arena. Well, not a really a Plantera arena. I don't really need an arena to fight Plantera, but um, I want to get a, a Plantera bulb farm, I guess. Just a place to get and then fight Plantera is is really what I want. Because the the goal with this world is to have every possible renewable thing farmed. Everything that can be farmed, I want to farm. You know, like that's the. That's the goal. And most things uh, actually can be farmed. There, there aren't that many. My God, there aren't that many things that can't be uh, that can't that aren't renewable in Terraria. Most of it is. Oh, there's a husk behind us too. My God, we just got decimated. The trifecta of death. Ooh, I think that's my first neon drop. It's cool. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I just want to get everything renewable that's possible farmed. So I got a lot more holes to dig, a lot more stuff to do. I haven't done any of the 
I haven't done Blood Moon fishing yet. I haven't done... I want to have like a proper Blood Moon farm. Because you can get things... You can get the stuff to summon a Blood Moon from fishing in a Blood Moon. Um, so I want to have a, uh, a place to do that relatively safely. Because Blood Moons are useful for harvesting Deathweed mostly. <laughs> I don't really think there's anything you get from a, a Blood Moon, but uh, on a Blood Moon or a Full Moon, it's the only time when Deathweed will bloom. Um, so if you want to get Deathweed, a good way to do that is just have a supply of, of Blood Moon items and then just use a bunch of of uh, those whenever you need to you use one whenever you need some more Deathweed and then all of it will be ready to go. I got the cell phone today as well. I've been I've been short on the the sextant. I've been short on the sextant for a while. I keep getting duplicates of other stuff because I keep forgetting to put it in my inventory before I turn in the quest. So I got like six of the stupid fish finder stuff or whatever it is before I finally got the sextant and I was able to make the uh, the cell phone. I was just waiting on it. I had all the stuff in my inventory and then. I was like, yeah, just literally waiting on the sextant. <laughs> so a couple more things I need from the angler still. I gotta get uh, the hot rod. Uh, the tackle box would be nice. I'm just I'm not doing too many angler quests at this point, really. I like fishing, but the, the, the quests themselves are, you know, pretty meh. They're pretty meh. I might set up a script to uh, to hand in angler quests, maybe. Probably not, though. Because you can just, like, fish a whole bunch of the fish for the the quest. And leave it in a, in a chest somewhere. And then just pull it out of the chest when you need it. So that would be... It would be something I could automate. I just, I don't know if I care to write a script for that. It would be pretty simple. It's just... Is that is that a step I want to take, you know? That's how we do it in Darwin. I'm fine with using, like, an auto-clicker to shoot sand at a wall to duplicate sand. Like, that's something I did, so I got a couple of chests of sand now. And I'll, I'll probably do that some more to get uh, more sand. Um, I think you can do it with, like, pearl sand, too. Which would be really, really good. Um, I don't know, some some dupes I'm fine with. And then some I'm not. I don't know, I don't know why, like, why, because... I think there's a dupe with, um, cause you can dupe sand, you get like a, a sand gun, which shoots the sand block, and then it appears in the world and, and falls down, um, but your ammo, like, reservation stuff also applies to that, so you can have like a, a potion, which gives you 20%, you know, chance to save your ammunition, uh, you can have like an armor set that gives you 25% chance to save your ammunition, uh, you can have, like, there's an item you can use that gives you a buff, which is another 20%. I think you can get up to, like, 80 or 85% chance to save your ammunition, which is, like, kind of incredible. Because uh, it means you end up just, like, getting a lot of good out of it. You know, you get, you get a lot of extra sand. Because it shoots the sand, the sand appears, then it falls on a torch, breaks, and goes back into your inventory, and then you can just keep on repeating that uh, forever. And that dupe I'm okay with, but I don't know, I guess it's like general item dupes. You know, that requires some degree of setup. You know, I have to get the armor, I have to make the potions, I have to get the item, I have to have... You know, like all of this stuff going, and then I have to have a spot where I can shoot it, that I'm going to be able to be safe at, and, and yada yada yada. And it's not like super super quick it is really really quick but it's not like you know do it for five seconds and you have everything you need forever whereas there are some dupes that are like that just like general item dupes where you know you I guess you know you, you can just make a world copy the world over go into the world and all of your stuff is duped you know you just take it all out and stick it in uh, in your inventory take it back to the other world and repeat, you know? But uh, that's not fun. And, and there are other dupes that are like in 
the engine as well. Um, the item frame dupe was one that's uh, patched now, I believe. You put something in an item frame when it's like glitched out or something, and then the, the item dupes or something. I don't know how it works, <laughs> but the there was something to do with it. It was using speed runs. Can you please? Um, but I just, I don't like that kind of stuff, you know, but the sand dupe I'm okay with. I don't know. I don't know. I think I got my Ankh shield today as well. I don't really care about it, to be honest. I think it's like one of the most sought after items in the game. And I'm just like, I don't know. I just, it protects you from a whole lot of like, debuffs. I don't really get debuffed though. Like, I'm not really... Occasionally you get the confusion debuff where your inputs are like reversed. That doesn't really bother me though. And it's like so infrequent. I'm, I just, I don't know if it's worth having the Ankh shield on. I know it's one of the, the I know it's, it, it's like some people's favorite accessories. Like, yeah, I need the Ankh shield. I'm not going to be able to, to do this until I get the Ankh shield. I'm just like, I don't really get it. <laughs> I just, I just don't get debuffed all that often, you know? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just too good to get hit. Maybe I'm just too good to get hit. You know, maybe all the people who like the Ankh Shield are bad. Probably what it is, is... Uh, they build more into defense. You know? So you end up going with, like, beetle armor and... And all this other kind of high defense stuff, and then you uh, you just you you you're able to take a hit or two. Uh, I'm not built into defense. I'm built into you know DPS primarily. Anyway, I've got the worm scarf on, but that's about it. Um, I'm built into DPS, and if I get hit, then I'm I'm pretty much dead. Like I can take a hit from pretty much anything, um, and then you know that's it. <laughs> I can't I can't take another hit. Um, so I just I don't have very high defense. Um, so I guess some people build into defense, and then they have maybe more consistent stuff. And then I I, I have a maybe, and maybe I'm intentionally gimping myself and give myself a higher, you know, floor to reach before I can actually be successful with uh, with the boss fight. I don't know. But uh, with, with my playstyle that I that I tend to go with, I just I don't see the, the benefit of the Ankh shield really. I have it. It's equipped. It's equipped, it's on there. But um, Yeah, I just probably switch it out with something else. Actually I don't think it is equipped right now. I think it's in my vanity. As I have a uh, like quiver on over top of it or something, or maybe the pygmy necklace—I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not what's important. What's important is that I don't like the Ankh shield, and I'm in the minority because of that. I'm in the minority. Repressed, actually. What what are what are my thirteen commando? But that's prestiged. We have thirteen field medic, but that's prestiged. Fourteen firebug is my lowest. I was uh, I was I was browsing Reddit earlier, and some people were talking about how uh, they're like, yeah, yeah. I had like two prestige field medic before I even got all my skills to tour before I got all my perks to twenty five, and I'm like, yeah, I got max prestige gunslinger and pretty much nothing else. That's it. That's all. That's all I do is gunslinger. Is there other, are there other perks in the game? I don't think there are. I'm pretty sure it's called gun sing gun gunsling gunslinging floor too. Uh, I switched to firebug on accident. <laughs> See if we can still manage to make this work, eh? God, that recoil is nasty though. Holy hell! That recoil is just disgusting. No! 
Okay, we may actually be able to overcome this. Possibly. I'm not. I'm not making promises here. But I'm gonna say it might happen. I was wondering why I was so slow. Makes sense. I am Firebug right now, and that's that's a pretty significant problem to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm I'm really slow. This is why I like Gunslinger, okay? This this right here is why. Because when you play Firebug, you can't kill haunts. I am, of course, mostly being facetious here. Obviously, when you're playing Firebug, you wouldn't use, you know, Gunslinger weapons. But that's the problem, is that when you don't play Gunslinger, you don't get Gunslinger weapons. And that's just, like... A major point of contention for me when I play other perks is the speed and the weapons just... Yeah, Gunslinger's, Gunslinger's my favorite perk. I don't know if you noticed. Anyway, um, we did die once, so I guess I guess we can call it there. Sure. That's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.